Okay, so keeping in the energy sector, we're now looking at some examples of renewable energies, um, which hopefully many people are in more favor of now that the results and the ramifications of using carbon-based energy is, is well documented and coming to light. Um, these are examples of wind farms up in the top left corner and of an ocean array system down in the bottom right. Both of these require an immense amount of scientific earth science knowledge before they can be constructed. For the wind farms, we need to have a really good understanding of the meteorologic conditions to find out if we have the right amount of wind and the strength of wind required to push those turbines. We also need to know the geologic conditions to know if we have strong enough soil to support the immense amount of loads that will be pushed on these turbines as wind is spinning them. Down in the bottom right, we have an advanced system that is producing energy by the resistance of these long snake-like structures to bending. And as waves move by, we use the combination of waves and gravity, the buoyancy and this pull of gravity to bend these things. And by their resistance, they're geared so that they're actually generating electricity. We're going to talk more about those later. But again, the um, knowledge of surface currents, of ocean currents, wave patterns, all of that is extremely necessary for this type of project to be successful. So hopefully these type of projects will come more into the mainstream and will require more earth scientists that are specialized in these type of experiments.